Welcome back guys to my channel and today we are going to discuss about a token based authentication mechanism in ASP.NET Core Web API. Now those who are new to my channel, uh, you have you can watch my previous videos where we have discussed API key based authentication and then we have also discussed a basic authentication in ASP.NET Core Web APIs. There are separate videos on this and also there are separate videos on how we can actually implement this where we have done some programming on implementation of these things. But today we are going to learn about the token based authentication process. So first of all, what is this token based authentication? So a token based authentication is a secure way of handling user logging. Okay. Now, so this is a secure way of user login. Now, instead of storing user sessions on the server, we use something called as token. And in this very video, we'll be learning how tokens work and we'll be taking a special kind of token called a JWT token. Okay. Now, this is a very widely used thing or mechanism for you know securing your APIs or mobile apps and all the modern web applications that you see okay so now first of all before we jump into what is token and what is a JWT token let's try to understand how this essentially works right so I've got this very beautiful diagram over here which I feel it is beautiful okay. so what is uh, what does this diagram usually say now it says that you have you are a user you have got your username and you have got your password okay now you send this username and password to a server here that is going to validate validate your username and password once you are once the server has validated your username or password it is going to issue you a token and that token will be sent back to you as a response to your login request okay maybe in the form of a session or maybe in the form of cookie or some way maybe in your json response and that the browser of yours is going to keep that token with it for the domain that you are requesting at all time okay now once you have got the token and your browser is going to maintain that for you now you you are inside the system you have logged in successfully and now you are going to make another request you are going to make a request to another resource then that request that you do that is going to use this token this very token that the server had responded to you once you logged in so now every time you make a new request the browser or the system is going to send the same token with each request and once and once you have sent that request with that token server is going to validate that request or server is going to validate that token and if the token is correct if it is genuine if it is not expired you will be access you will be granted access to the next resource you are request and this in a very high level how a token based authentication system works now there are several things inside this flow we get to them gradually but on a very high level this or this is what a token based authentication does now in the very start of the video i mentioned something called a jwt token right now what is this let's move ahead with this video and try to understand what a jwt token is so i've got this uh, image over here okay so what is a jwt token now you see this is this on my right hand side i've got this uh, jwt token a sample jwt token this is how it usually looks like and then on my left hand side this is a usual structure of a jwt token so the first part that you see over here that says the algorithm and the type of token it is that is called the header okay so it tells you that okay i'm using a 256 hs algorithm for encoding my for encoding my stuff and then this is the type of a jwt token the second part of the jwt token structure is a payload now what is a payload so once you log in with your username and password the server validates it and let's say it says okay this is the correct username and password and this belongs to a user who is supposed to be an administrator okay now this is this actually tells you the role that the user is associated for this case we have taken an admin and then there is an expiry associated with that taken with that token so maybe it is some seconds over here some seconds uh, starting from the moment you logged in so some xyz seconds and then there are several other things like name age and everything that you want you can actually build in uh, inside your claims okay so this payload will contain that kind of information the role and several other things like uh, his the expiry of the token the name and the age of the person or maybe some other things that you want to add to your claim now third is the very important thing that is the signature okay so now in these days in modern world uh, where we are moving towards the web 3.0 uh, we still find instances where where the token gets stolen and people get access to your account so how does this happen 
happen because they have stolen your cookie and the cookie contained your token so now they are able to forge your identity and go inside a uh, go inside system where only you should be allowed now, so this signature over here actually tells whether or not the the token has been tampered okay so how do they do it we'll see that during the implementation lecture but over here uh, for, uh, this signature will tell us that if it is tampered it will tell that the signature is not valid and if it is a genuine token no one has tampered with it it will tell you okay this signature is valid and the token is validated next up let's try to figure out what are the basic advantages that we get when we use a jwt type of mechanism now i have got another diagram okay so the first and uh, one of the important benefit of using a token based authentication is its statelessness property now what is this now, what is stateless because since the server does not store session information it can scale easily without worrying about your session manager right because server is not actually maintaining any sessions for your user or for your login it is it has just sent you a token that token might expire after after a certain time but uh, apart from that session is no longer or the server is no longer valid who is logged in every time you try to get an access to your uh, to your resource on the server you just need to supply the token that's it server is not going to maintain if that token that session is still maintained or so that is what is called as stateless next is the cross domain access now you see tokens can be used across different domains making them ideal for apis and microservices if you are aware what microservices are where different apis communicate you have built a system where different apis will communicate with each other Most most of which will be in your domain but a few can be out of your domain right so in such a case you can get a token from the api hosted outside your domain and you will be able to establish a cross domain communication setup okay so this again is a very important point over here next is it is very mobile friendly now you see mobile applications are handheld devices they have a limited storage also these days so now these tokens are just strings right so mobile applications can very easily handle tokens allowing for some seamless authentication because it is just a string kind of thing that is being passed over right so these are pretty mobile friendly next are the security thing what is the advantage with this now because you see we have got this header part and then we have got a signature part over here right that is actually holding some encoding information and also verifying if that uh, if the token was tampered during the transit so tokens can be signed and encrypted and they provide a secure way to transmit your information and also guarantee that once a token is landed and they, you have got a mechanism which will actually tell if it was tampered okay so this was it for the token based authentication if you have any questions please feel free to comment and i'll reply to your comment as soon as possible hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel